Hi, this is Rick, and welcome to Digital Fortress. In today's video, I'm going to show you a reasonably secure method of installing Daedalus Wallet on Windows operating system. I'm going to show two different techniques. One technique is basic installation for most users with, with a reasonable amount of security by checking your antivirus scanners, making sure you're on uh, private Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And the second video is going to be based on uh, advanced users where you know a little bit more about networking and you want to verify that the network is operating correctly and that your antivirus is uh, working correctly, which we also want to do for the basic installation as well. But I'm going to go through a few more techniques. If you have a little bit more time and you'd like to watch the more advanced video, feel free to do so. But the key is to make sure we're on the proper network and that our antivirus scanners are up to date and have been run. Okay, so that's some of the key goals. For the basic attack resistant method to install Cardano Daedalus, the two steps shown in blue, step one and two, do not use public Wi-Fi for these steps. You want to be on a private network and even to take things a little bit further, it's a good idea to use wired private network. If that's available to you, if you can pull it off, it's a good idea to do it. But number step number two there is a definite must. You got to make sure that your antivirus is up to date that you have a good antivirus it's been up to date and you actually run it you have to run a full system scan make sure it's nice and clean then we get on to steps 3 through 11 the one shown here in green we're going to be downloading the gpg suite and verifying the shea summon signature using the windows methods then we're going to install the gpg itself following by downloading daedalus verifying the download of daedalus verifying the signature and lastly actually installing daedalus using minimal keystrokes, which comes built into the Daedalus installation procedures. In case you do get a keystroke logger on your system and it's not caught by the antivirus scanner, the Daedalus method of installing the software reduces the amount of keystrokes. You don't have to type in all the characters. So it should protect your private key with some level of uh, reasonable security. Let's take a look at a slide that will expand on the steps we're going to perform. Then we'll go on to actually doing the steps. This screen shows an expanded view of the steps we're about to perform. There's a little bit more detail here, so you can take a few moments, you can pause at this point and review the steps so that you have a rough idea of what's going to happen next. Let's continue. This next section of the video is going to show the basic attack resistant method to install Cardano Daedalus. I'm using Windows 10 as recommended by some of the viewers. We'll begin by launching Microsoft Edge for our web browser. The three websites we'll be using are dailyswallet.io, GitHub, and GPG for Win. And I'm going to check those websites real quick, take a look at their certs. Dailyswallet.io is good. We're on the correct one. GitHub, good to go and GPG for win, also good to go. Windows 10 has a lot, a lot of nice uh, security features in it. I'm going to link these three websites in the description section of the YouTube page. Now we're going to go to the download section and download Daedalus. When it asks what do you want to do, we're going to hit save. It's running security scan and view downloads. There is my downloads folder. Complete. And we'll come back to that. Next we're going to verify the checksum of the file we just downloaded. The procedure here says press the Windows Start menu and type command. Now on Windows 10, um, Windows Start menu doesn't have the run bar. It's right here inside Cortana. So you would go in Cortana and type command, but if you have older versions of Windows, it's in the start bar. So CMD for command. That launches a terminal window. I'm going to close that out. The way I normally do it is, I'm going to show you that real quick, is, is you press and hold the Windows key next to the space bar, then tap the letter R. It launches the run pop-up window. Then you type in command, CMD, and hit OK. That launches a terminal. Two different ways of getting to it. I'm going to reconfigure my windows here so we can see a little better for what we're going to do next. So now that I have my windows sorted, I'm going to go through the procedure where I type in CD for change directory, capital D-O-W-N for downloads. Then I press tab to complete the word downloads and hit enter. That puts me in the downloads directory. 
Now I'm going to type in the command certutil space tac hash file space DAE for Daedalus and press tab to complete the word for me, then space SHA256 for SHA256, so it'll run that math on it. Hit enter, it executes the program and returns a unique number shown here Charlie Echo 7, Echo Bravo 1, etc. All the way through Echo 442, Bravo 4. I compare it to this showing in the web browser, Charlie Echo 7, Bravo, 7 Echo Bravo 1, so on, Echo 442, Bravo 4 at the end, and you verify that the numbers are match, and we're good. So that verifies that the binary is intact and it's the correct binary according to the number shown on the web page. Good to go so far. And we verified this checksum here. I'm going to compare it to the checksum shown on the GitHub page. And it's the same as shown here. This is a good way to double check in case a website has been hacked. If you bounce it against two different web pages, the chances of two different websites being hacked with the same information is much less likely. So it's an extra step in security by doing this. Now that we verified the checksum, we're going to go back and verify the signature of the Daedalus download by clicking this link here on the web page. That's going to take us to the procedures where that's where we download GPG for a win and follow from there. So now we're here. Obtain both the Daedalus installer execute file, which you already downloaded, and its corresponding execute.asc signature file and put them in the same directory. Here's our Daedalus file that we downloaded. Now we're going to go get the ASC file from GitHub instead of from here. We're going to download the Daedalus executable ASC file from GitHub because, again, the chances of two different websites being compromised is much lower, so it increases our security. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to save it, not open it. Close this bar out. And it's now in our downloads folder. Back to the procedure. That completes step one, but instead of getting them from the same website, got it from two different websites. Now we need to obtain the GNU PG package from gpgforwin.org, which I already have open. So I'm going to open in a new tab. Then we're going to proceed with the installation and launch the Cleopatra component. Download. The file's downloaded. We're going to save it. Running security scan. Close this. Now I'm going to do an extra integrity check. I'm going to verify that we have an intact binary using the SHA-256 checksum just like we did for Daedalus. I'm going to press Windows R to launch the run pop-up window then enter CMD to launch a command prompt terminal same as before, I'm going to type cd space dow and downloads. I'm going to start typing downloads tab complete by hitting the tab button. Hit enter. I'm in the downloads directory. Now I'm going to type certutil space tac hash file space gpg tab complete space sha256 enter and compare the result to the web page. SHA-256 GPG for win 3.1.3 executable is here. Charlie 3, Charlie 18150, etc. Bravo 72034. I compare the two numbers and it's a match. So I have a good binary. I'm going to exit and return to the procedure.
Now we're on step three. Proceed with installation and launch the Cleopatra component. I'm going to go to Downloads, GPG for Win, double click it to launch. Yes. Setup begins. Okay, welcome to the installation. Next. Here's the Cleopatra component. There's some other components with it. Next. Install. Run Cleopatra. Finish. Minimize and return to the procedure. The next step is step four. Unless you already have a personal GPG key, you have to create one, which is required for step six. Step six is down here. It's mislabeled as step one, but just they're probably going to fix this website, so treat this as step six. So inside Cleopatra, we're going to select the menu item File, New Key Pair, Create Personal PGP Key Pair. Let me rearrange the windows for a minute. Be right back. Much better. So continuing with step four, select the menu item file new key pair. I can also start from here, but I'll go from here like it says. File, new key pair, create a personal open PGP key pair, name and email address. So that's step four, sub step two, hit next and create. Now we're here on 4 sub step 3. Choose a passphrase to protect your personal key. Key pair successfully created. Now I hit finish. It gives my fingerprint here. Now we're on step five. Import the IOHK key. Sub step one, file lookup on server. I'm going to copy and paste signing authority, IOHK.io. It says import the key. Do not certify the key just yet. I'm going to go ahead and import both of them in case I need them, but this is what we're looking for. Signing authority at OHK.io. DevOps is not necessary. And import. Okay. And step five is step five, sub step five. Do not certify the key just yet. Number six is right click on the key and choose details and ensure the fingerprint is this fingerprint right here. So I'm going to go to the signing authority at iohk.io, details, and here's the fingerprint. Verify it's a match, and it's a match. It says, if it is, we are good to go. Now we go on to certify the IOHK key. So there's a lot of double checks in this process. This is step six, sub step one. Once you have a personal GPG key, right click on the imported IOHK key and choose certify. Right click, certify. Enable the IOHK user ID and tick, I have verified the fingerprint checkbox and proceed. You should receive a message saying certification successful. IOHK signing authority. Tick, I verified the fingerprint. Next. And you have two options, certify only for myself or everyone to see. I'll go ahead and put it on everyone. Send cert to certificate, certify. Enter the passphrase. Okay. Exporting to public server, it's a permanent, continue. Certification successful. Export successfully, that's from, okay. Export successfully was from the previous window. Certification successful. That's what we're looking for. So we finished step 
six, sub-step four, receive a message saying certification successful. Finish. Now we're ready to verify the installer binary. We're going to click Decrypt Verify button on the Cleopatra toolbar and select the Daedalus installer. Part of step two says the .asc signature file must reside in the same directory, and it does. Now hit open, and the verification process begins. And that's a valid signature verification. This is the window we're looking for. When the signature is created, it's verified by IOHK signing authority right here. It has that last group of hexadecimal numbers from their uh, PGP signature that we verified. Everything's good to go. This is what we're looking for. That's what we need. Now we're ready to install Daedalus. On to the installation of Daedalus. Close this out. Put these away. Close all tabs. Downloads. Now we launch the Daedalus executable. Don't get confused with this is the ASC executable. It's not an executable, it's an ASC file, but it has a .exe extension, but it's an open PGB file. This is the one we need to launch, and the size is 205 megabytes, so obviously this is an installer. This is the file we need to launch. I've pre-installed the blockchain, so it won't take nearly as long to synchronize. Installation complete, we continue. blockchain is synchronizing here I create a new wallet the next screen is going to give us our 12 word phrase this is the seed to create your private key. You can be entered in any version of in order to restore your wallet. Please make sure no one's looking onto your screen. And this is why we checked that our network was good to go. We're on a private network, preferably on Ethernet and a virus scanner to make sure that there's no screen recorder or screen capturing or keystroke loggers that are tracking what we're doing. So we check that and hit continue and we write down all of these words. Please make sure you write these down carefully and thoroughly, word for word, letter for letter. I've seen many help support requests on the Cardano forum because people misspelled a word whenever they wrote them down. And they can usually go in the forum and ask for help and people help them decipher which word it is they were trying to get. But the best way to do it is make sure that you do it right the first time. If you do run into problems, make sure you get on that community tech support forum or the forum.cardano.org forum and get some help. But you got them written down correctly, you hit, yes, I've written it down. Next, you select each word using a mouse, which prevents a keystroke logger from capturing what you're typing in. And upon selecting the last word, if it's legit, the screen will change to this recovery phrase and it'll repeat it back to you in the same order that you put it in. Now keep something in mind, these wallets that I create for YouTube videos, I delete these. So don't replicate this wallet because someone's probably going to be goofing around and they're going to replicate it just to see if they can. Well, they're going to succeed. So don't send money to any of these wallets that I make on YouTube. Don't use them because they are compromised and you don't want those kind of wallets on your computer. People are going to mess around with them. 
Okay, so I got my recovery phrase in correctly because I got to this screen. If it was wrong, I would have been stuck on the previous screen until I got it right. So now that I'm here, I can check. I understand my wallet and tokens are held securely on this device, not on any servers. Well, kind of. not. It's held on the blockchain. The private key is held on this device. And number two, I understand this application is moved to another device or to leave my wallet can only be recovered with a backup phrase. So make sure you have this written down. You put it away securely where nobody can see it. Find a secure means of storing that phrase and hit confirm. Now you're complete. You got a wallet made. You're ready to go get you some ADA. Well, there you have it. I hope you found these procedures useful. The number one thing to remember when you're operating these digital currency software platforms on board your home computers is, is security, security, security. Make sure you have all your security measures in place. Don't take any shortcuts. You want to make sure any, anything you can do to keep your network secure and keep your software secure, that's what you want to do. You want to avoid the malicious websites and avoid going to nefarious websites that could compromise your computer. If you enjoyed this video, Please feel free to click like and subscribe. Also, leave me some comments down below and let me know if you have any ideas for other types of videos you would like to see. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.